Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Message channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about two new announcements that Binance made today. And the first announcement is about introducing Merit Circle or MC on the Binance launch pool. And the second announcement on the very same day is about listing the Merit Circle or the MC token, right? So let's go to the first announcement. So introducing Merit Circle MC on Binance launch pool, farm MC by staking BNB, MC and BUSD tokens. Binance is excited to announce the 27th project on Binance launch pool Merit Circle, a play to earn gaming DAO. Users will be able to stake their BNB, MC and BUSD into separate pools to farm MC tokens for uh, over 60 days with farming starting from the 3rd of December 0 AM UTC. So again, Binance is launching uh, a whole bunch of uh, launch pools in the recent times and their 27th project is going to be Merit Circle which is basically a play to earn gaming DAO and uh, you can earn uh, MC tokens passively for a period of 60 days by either staking BNB, MC and BUSD in separate pools and earn MC tokens, right? So, the launch pool details are as follows. The token name is obviously Merit Circle. The total supply of the token is 1 billion tokens. Again, a huge supply. We'll cover that uh, a few, in a few seconds. But uh, the circulating supply is about 42.5 million tokens, which is just about 4.26% of the total supply. Uh, the launch pool supply itself will only be a small 12.5 million tokens out of the 1 billion tokens uh, of total supply. And when it comes to the research report, which we'll be going through shortly, uh, you can access that from Binance Research. They are an ERC20 token, so you can find them on the uh, you know, ETH Explorer. And there is really no upper limit, but you need to do KYC as, as per uh, their standards, right? So uh, when it comes to uh, supported pools, and the allocation, you, you, if you stake uh, BNB, you will be able to, depending on how long you stake your BNB for, you will basically be, uh, you know, fighting for a uh, pool of 8.75 million MC tokens out of the 12.5 million MC tokens, which is about 70% of the MC tokens that's allocated for Binance launch pool will be going to BNB stakers. Uh, you know, the next biggest pool is the MC pool itself. So if you stake MC tokens, you will get MC tokens and you will be able to receive a share of 2.5 million tokens. It's about 20% of the uh, pool allocation, like launch pool allocation. And if you stake BUSD, you can earn a small share about 1.25 million MC tokens, uh, which is 10% of the launch pool allocation. So the farming period begins on the 3rd of December, 0 AM UTC and ends on 31st of January 2022 at 11.59 PM UTC, right? So the farming distribution for MC tokens is as follows, uh, you know, throughout the period of, uh, you know, the, the 60 days taking period from 3rd of December to 31st of January next year, the amount of daily MC tokens will be uh, 208.333, sorry, 208.33, yeah, 203 uh, 8.333, MC tokens will be allocated to different, uh, you know, coin stakers uh, or different token stakers out of which Binance uh, coin or BNB pool will basically earn a majority on a daily basis. It's about 145.833 thousand MCT, MC tokens uh, on a daily basis. MC token pool itself will earn 41.666 thousand, uh, you know, MC tokens on a daily basis and BUSD will, uh, pool will earn about uh, 20.833 uh, thousand uh, MC tokens on a daily basis, right? So again, uh, all the rules for the Binance launch pool are on the Binance announcement page and it's pretty much the same if you have already participated on Binance launch pool. If you are new to this, I suggest you guys to read through this because I'm not going to cover this because we have a lot of things to cover about this project. So I'm going to skip to the announcement that Binance made about listing this token itself. So Binance will list Merit Circle and will open trading for MCBTC, MCBUSD and MCUSDT trading pairs on, you know, 2nd of December, which is today, 8 a.m. UTC. So again, 
Binance has not only uh, announced people uh, to the people that they will be launching this MC token launch pool, but they are also announcing that they will be listing the MC tokens itself. And as you see, uh, you know, MC tokens itself can be used to stake and earn more MC tokens in their MC token pool. So, in order to allow that, they first need to list it and that is one of the reasons why they are listing it today. So, that from tomorrow onwards, people can start staking the MC tokens in the MC token pool and start earning rewards, right. So, um, what is Merit Circle? Merit Circle is a decentralized autonomous organization or a DAO that invests in play to earn games and utilizes the DAO's NFT assets by lending to players. MC is the governance token of the Merit Circle DAO and can be used to participate in platform governance, staking early access to NFT drop and platform rewards. So again, Merit Circle is also jumping into the bandwagon of uh, play to earn game tokens. So there are so many play to earn games that are currently available right now. I think it's a craze that's happening in the crypto space where on a daily basis you find a new play to earn game with their own token uh, you know, competing to be listed on top exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase. And if you see, uh, Binance is listing uh, Merit Circle, which is a decentralized autonomous organization. So again, at least compared to other projects, we can say Merit Circle is kind of like a DAO, which means there is no central authority behind it. And it's a, uh, it's a platform that invests in play to earn games and utilizes the DAO's NFT assets by lending to players. So, they lend their NFT assets to players and that is how they generate income for the users there. Just like any uh, play to earn platform or any platform in general, uh, you know, that has a governance token, MC, to MC uh, platform also has its own governance token called the MC token, which can be used to participate in the platform's governance as we know. Uh, you can participate in staking within the platform itself and get early access to NFT drop and platform rewards. So, these are some of the main benefits and we will cover uh, some of the you know details of these in the Binance research page shortly. But you, if you scroll below, you have the website block explorer fees and rules and other information about this listing as well, right? Which you can go to Binance, search for announcement and this is one of the recent announcements that they have. So, let us go to the Binance research report for Merit Circle. So, again, this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, so please do your own in-depth research before you put your hard and money on this token, right? So, when it comes to Merit Circle, the one-liner for this token is that it is a play to earn gaming DAO. That is pretty much it. That is a pretty short and sweet one-liner here. So, Merit Circle is a decentralized autonomous organization or a DAO that invests in play to earn games and utilizes the DAO's NFT assets by lending to players through collaboration, education and tooling, players can increase their in-game earnings. Starting from 2022 Q1, players and managers will start playing through the Merit Circle dashboard, providing them with a Merit Circle meta game experience, a game with challenges and rewards layered on top of the native game they, play, they are playing. Uh, this allows players to play two games in one while earning from both. So again, there is a lot of information to unravel. So, when it comes to the first sentence, we already know because we already covered it shortly that it is a decentralized autonomous organization or a DAO and it mainly focuses on investing in play to earn games and utilizing their DAO NFTs, uh, you know, assets by lending it to players and earning income for their platform. That is something that we already established before. So, what they do is they collaborate, they educate and they provide tooling services, uh, you know, to players and players can use these services to increase their in-game earnings. So, if you want to uh, earn more uh, through the game, you can use collaboration, education and tooling features available within the game to earn more. And when it comes to, uh, you know, Q1 of 2022, uh, which is coming pretty soon, uh, players and managers will start playing through the Merit Circle dashboard. So, you can use uh, the Merit Circle dashboard, uh, you know, when, when it comes to the Q1 phase of 2022, which is when their dashboard will go live. And this will basically provide uh, users and managers with the Merit Circle uh, meta game experience. So, you will be able to uh, use the dashboard and get the meta uh, game experience 
a game with challenges and rewards laid on top of the native game. So, when you use the dashboard, you will be able to uh, you know, play games the challenge and reward uh, simultaneously in a layered manner um, you know, in order to give you the best user experience ever. And this will basically allow you to play two types of games. You are playing the challenging game and you are also play playing the reward game simultaneously. So, you are playing two types of game. The only difference is that it is layered on top of each other. So, it is kind of like playing one big game um, as opposed to playing two separate games. But the experience is pretty much the same when it comes to playing this game versus playing two separate games, right? And you will be earning from both. No matter what uh, type of game you play, whether challenge or rewards, you are basically earning by playing both of these games simultaneously. So, that is basically how the uh, mechanism works. MC is the governance token of the Merit Circle DAO and has the following current and planned use cases. So again, as we discussed before, MC tokens are governance tokens. So, there is a governance component to it. So, you can definitely use it to participate in network governance within the platform itself. And there are certain other use cases that are currently available and use cases that will be available in the future which are not currently available, right? So, we will see some of those use cases in detail. As we said, governance is the first main use case. So, MC token holders staked tokens can vote on network governance decisions. So, again, they are highlighting the fact that you need to stake your MC token. So, if you just have MC tokens in your wallet, you are not going to be able to participate in the governance. You need to stake it on their platform in order to make governance decisions about the platform itself, right? So, that is one of the main use cases of the token. The second main use case is to play to earn index. Each MC token represents a share of the main DAO's treasury through MC tokens, users gain exposure to multiple gaming NFTs across the various sub DAOs, which will act as the index of the play to earn industry. So, again, uh, you can basically um, use each MC token in order to gain the share of the main DAO's treasury. So, you can uh, stake your MC tokens and you will be able to kind of like uh, you know uh, use the staked uh, you know MC tokens to uh, represent the share of the main DAO's treasury and through these MC tokens you can basically gain exposure to multiple gaming NFTs. So, you can gain exposure to several gaming NFTs across the various sub DAOs. So, these are little bit of a complicated terms but again once you start doing your own research, I think you will start understanding this platform much more. But they have a main DAO and sub DAOs. So, by using the tokens, you can gain exposure to NFTs, multiple gaming NFTs across the different sub DAOs. And this will act as the index of the play to earn industry, right? So, that is basically the second main use case. The third main use case is staking. MC token holders can stake their single sided MC tokens or Uniswap LP, LP tokens in the merit circle platform for MC rewards. So, again, staking is pretty straightforward. You can either stake the token directly uh, and earn rewards or you can provide liquidity on Uniswap and stake the LP tokens to earn additional rewards. But overall, staking will give you uh, additional rewards in general, right? The next main use case is early access to NFTs. MC token holders will have early access to NFT drops from merit circle native NFTs and the platform partners. So, you will be able to get NFT airdrops from Merit Circle itself or their partners by just holding the tokens. Platform rewards in the future, MC token holders will be eligible for platform rewards and product discounts based on their MC holdings. So again, so far, whatever use cases we've seen about the token is currently available. The only feature that's not available right now but will be available in the future is platform rewards. So by holding the uh, MC tokens or staking it on their platform, you'll be able to earn platform rewards, depending on how many transactions are happening, you will probably get a small cut of the transactions depending on your proportionate stake on the platform and uh, you can get product discounts and other benefits as well, right? So, these are future planned uh, benefits about this MC token that we are not currently able to see because it is not available right now. So, the project has raised $4.5 million in funding in a seed sale round for 140.6 million MC tokens, which is about 14.06% of the total token supply. So, they have raised quite a bit of money like 4.5 million 
dollars in seed fund rounds and they've also raised 105.6 million uh, you know uh, uh, you know funding through the balancer liquidity bootstrapping pool via coop uh, sorry copper launch so that's basically the uh, second means by which they raised capital and they sold 41.02 million mc tokens which is about 4.10% of the total token supply the funds raised are in the dow treasury so these funds that are raised are fully in the dow treasury right as of december 2nd 2021 the total and maximum supply of mc is 1 billion tokens and the circulating supply is only 42.5 million tokens about 4.26% of the total token supply quite low if you ask me but we'll come to this later on right so that's the pretty much uh, like in a quick overview about this project itself and what it does along with some of the use cases of the tokens itself but when it comes to the token type as we said it is only available as an ERC20 token you can't find this on the Binance Smart Chain if you find a project like this on the Binance Smart Chain you are probably you know uh, going to get scammed because if you buy that uh, particular token on the Binance Smart Chain that's not the same as the MC token so please be very careful MC token is only available in the ERC20 format right which is on top of Ethereum blockchain so Again, as we know, the initial token supply is going to be, uh, you know, when listed on Binance, is going to be 4.26% of the total token, token supply. Uh, we have the total and maximum token supply is 1 billion tokens. Binance launch pool allocation is 1.25% of the total token supply. Launch pool starts on December 3rd, which is tomorrow, right? And you have much more detailed analysis, as always, from Binance Research, who do a really good job. They look at this picture that shows about the structure of the ecosystem. So this is the main DAO, which is the ecosystem DAO. And they have independent sub DAOs, which is like the game DAOs that are a part of the games themselves. So you can participate in the main DAO as well as the sub DAOs as well uh, and earn rewards, right? So this is basically the vault strategy example that they're giving. You can clearly see that uh, there's a lot of information that you need to do uh, some detailed research into before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? So when it comes to uh, token distribution, about 14.06% of the total token supply is uh, allocated for the seed sale rounds, which is the highest uh, you know, when it comes to seed, uh, seed rounds. Uh, when it comes to public sale round, they have uh, they've had 4.10% of the total token supply allocated for that. Binance launch pool is 1.25%. Community incentives is 30.19%. So again, this is a cool one because they are providing more to the community. Teams and advisors, 20%. DAO treasury is 16.4%, staking rewards is 10%, retroactive rewards is 4%. So this is pretty decently equitable and the same information present in pie chart here. Uh, so when it comes to the release schedule, which is the most important number, you can again right off the bat clearly see that it's a very linear schedule. So uh, you know they have the information from December 2021 all the way till December 2026. So it seems like you can you can pretty much see that there's a, the token distribution is quite linear which is quite good because you know you're not seeing um, a lot of tokens from the team or the advisors being dumped into the token but you see a steady growth in a one directional manner which is going to definitely benefit not just the uh, retail investors but also the in, in institutions as well as you know uh, teams and advisors themselves if in case uh, you know they want to sell this token right but overall it, it seems like everyone has an equal sh uh, share of selling the tokens and therefore uh, the token distribution is definitely quite equitable and not as bad as we thought. So it's pretty good. Uh, you can do some more in-depth research by going to Binance research page for this token and learning more about this chart itself, right? So here they have some roadmaps, announcement, which I'll let you guys to read. But overall, you have a lot of information on the Binance research page, a pretty cool uh, way of presenting a token that is not really known to everyone. And I like Binance research for that, right? So let's go to the website of this token itself which is meritcircle.io again you need to go to the right website because there could be scam websites that say they have merit circle on binance smart chain which we currently don't have it and that's going to definitely scam some people so be very careful go to the right website go to the right page and only access the erc20 version of this token because there's n i mean currently there's no official bc web20 version of the token but there could be scams in polygon binance smart chain avalanche and several other blockchains so be very careful so on the top right corner they have staking pools and on the middle they have changing the rules of the game which is what the main focus is on changing uh, creating a new era to play uh, to earn through play so you can basically earn 
money by playing in a different way. So this is again, I think, an example from Axie Infinity. They have Star Atlas. They also have other games such as you know Illuvium and Hash Rush. So it's a very uh, un unique game compared to other games. Um, if you see it trusted by investors and scholars, so this is basically one of the main reasons why Coinbase decided, uh, sorry, Binance decided to like list this token uh, out of uh, out of the many scholars about. 1200 plus scholars are supporting this project from different project from parts of the world scholars this month more than 500 scholars are supporting this project uh, about 5 million plus slp earned which is again sushi swap liquidity program or sushi swap liquidity provider um, they have partnerships with d finance capital mechanism capital uh, maven 11 capital digital currency group spartan bitscale capital dielectric op crypto Citizen X as well as Yield Guild, which is also another project that we covered in Binance uh, on, on the Binance, uh, you know, uh, listing, which we covered a few months back. So, build the metaverse by being a part of it. Again, I was so surprised to see no metaverse word mentioned in the in the website so far, but it seems like they have mentioned it on their website, uh, you know, regardless. So, metaverse is the crazy, uh, you know, word that's being thrown around to every to every single NFT or gaming project. It seems like this project also has the metaverse craze on it. You can join the Discord server by clicking on the join Discord button. And if you have uh, common questions that you want to ask, you can go through their website and they are trying to answer all the questions that they can, right? If you want to participate in the newsletter, sign up here and click the subscribe button. Apart from that, you have the social media information where you can connect, their, uh, connect with their project, right? So that's pretty much a quick overview of the website itself. So let's go to the coin market cap page for the merit circle token so this token is currently ranked 257th by market cap on coin market cap and it's currently trading at nine dollars and 21 cents at the time i'm making this video with 10.59 percent decrease in the past 24 hours again uh, it's quite an unusual phenomenon because once binance lists a token it usually starts pumping but in the past we have uh, had tokens that dumped instead of pumping which is an anomaly and it seems like this token is quite dumping in this regard and if you see the market cap is only 392 million dollars so it's quite a small market cap token uh, which i think has a good potential in the future right when it comes to the tokenomics this is basically where i hate this token the max supply is 1 billion tokens and the circulating supply is only 4% it seems like inflation inflation of this token is going to kill this token uh, and you know bring this token to an end which is which doesn't really make sense because i feel like if you are focusing on tokenomics you should try to build the scarcity component into the system it seems like they haven't built it which is quite annoying but overall again they are a play to own uh, game and therefore they need to incentivize people to play their games uh, thereby they have to have such a high token supply in order to reward people which i totally understand but i'm not really a big fan of the tokenomics and tokenomics is the one, only worst thing about this project that i don't like right so if you scroll below to the charts itself you can clearly see that this token has been having higher highs and higher lows despite its extremely bad to tokenomics and extremely low circulating supply in, in uh, conjunction with its uh, you know total token supply i think this token has had steady higher highs and higher lows which is what is baffling me so when it comes to the initial price point this token was worth two dollars and 79 cents as of uh, you know last year uh, during the november season and if you see the token initially went up to nine dollars and twenty cents which is kind of like which was kind of like the first all-time highs for this token it kind of bounced back down reaching the five dollars and thirteen cents mark went back up down and then it did the exact same thing but overall in consistently slow pickle manner showing that the the project is growing organically and its actual all-time high was shown to be somewhere close to um, i think it was worth uh, 12 dollars per token and then kind of crashed and now it's kind of rebounding even though it's rebounding it's not as significant as people thought because once token gets listed on Binance, they'll get a significant pumping, but this token didn't really have it. So that's kind of like the main reason that this token is obviously unique from the other tokens, right? But if you're looking to buy this token right now, I'd probably say that you are going to have to wait because this token can definitely reverse and come to the $8 mark, which will be the best time to buy the stock uh, token. But again, you are free to do your own research, right? When it comes to the Bitcoin comparative, I'd probably say that this token has a pretty similar carbon copy version of the dollar, uh, dollar comparative and if you scroll here initial token price was worth about 
4500 satoshis it reached the peak reaching as high as uh, again uh, it reaches as high as 1400 satoshis before kind of like taking me uh, taking this token to the uh, you know higher highs and higher lows which is a pretty good uh, thing that we are seeing both in the bitcoin as well as the dollar compared to consistently right so the all time highs for this token has been about uh, 20,000 Satoshis per token and now it's kind of taking a dip and trying to rebound back. Even though the Binance listing should have caused some price appreciation, it hasn't done it for this token, right? Uh, but I think if you're trying to buy this token, I'd probably wait. The token can go as low as, uh, I would probably say like, you know, 11,000 uh, Satoshis uh, or even, I would probably say this token can easily go to about uh, 9 to 11,000 Satoshis per token, which will be a good entry point. But if you see currently, it's only worth 16,000 Satoshis per token. So it's something that we need to definitely keep an eye out for. But I think the dollar compared to is the best opportunity to buy uh, if you're a little patient because it's quite stable and the token itself being very volatile. You don't want to be holding this token by spending some Bitcoins or Satoshis, right? You need to be, be very careful with that. So when it comes to the markets itself, I think this token has uh, some really good liquidity thanks to Binance. Both uh, you know, Vra you know, uh, BUSD as well as uh, Wrapped Ethereum have caused the price to up um, in the recent times and made uh, you know higher highs and higher lows. Uh, I think Uniswap, Dodo, uh, and Zero X have also provided some good liquidity in decentralized format. But if it's listed on Binance, I wouldn't really worry about other platforms, right? So, what's my final verdict on this token, guys? Even though I'm bullish on this token, this token has set some higher highs and higher lows. I'm not really, uh, you know, a favorite, uh, you know, a fan of this token's uh, tokenomics. I think eventually this token's tokenomics will uh, come to haunt this token, which will make this token move sideways or even crash instead of going upwards, right? I think this higher highs and higher lows are only a temporary phenomenon because once the Binance listing is done, if Coinbase uses to list this token, that's when the hype will start again. But after a few days, I think Coinbase listing and Binance listing would be nothing, right? So people will definitely start getting back, getting back to normal and they won't really choose this token because they'll move to the newer token, right? So in that regard, I would say this token is a good short-term investment. I'd probably buy this token at $8 or you know, $7 and uh, 80 cents or something like that. And then maybe once this token reaches a new all-time high, which I believe will reach maybe somewhere between 12 to $13 per token by the end of this bull run, I think there will be some decent gains, but if you're planning to hodl this token for the long term, be very careful because it's a very volatile token and there could be lots of other projects that could do a much better job of this to than this token, right? So I think the long term potential, maybe 33 to 5 years, would be probably somewhere between 15 to 20 dollars per token. But I think at least by the end of this bull run, this token can reach at least 11 dollars per token, right? Which is possible and I think a lot of projects have done it. It's just uh, it's going to take some time for this token, right? Again, that's just my verdict, guys. Again, remember, guys, you can send out regular investors, you can send brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.